are here. So I just got a text from Robert and he asked me to take out some frozen backstrap because tonight's Tasty Tuesday number 15 whoops, is going to be nut crusted backstrap. So I don't know what he's gonna crust it with, but right here we have some deer backstrap from last year. It's always good to date your meat so you know how long it's been in the freezer, if it's good, if it's not. Um, and we vacuum sealed it so all of our meat stays pretty fresh. And I will just put this back strap right here in our sink. Done, good. So by the time Rob gets home after work, it'll be thawed and we will be making our Tasty Tuesday video. So I will see you at dinner time. All right, what's up, you guys? Just got home from work. I actually took a shower and washed my hair. Sarah got this out. This is from 12-17-2014, as she mentioned, because I already watched what she said. And uh, it's all thawed out. And I'm going to be making pistachio-crusted backstrap. Then I'm going to make like a red wine reduction with baby bell mushrooms, garlic, and shallots. So. We uploaded a deer hunt from earlier, and I want you guys to know that when we hunt, it's not like, oh, we're out there just hunting for horns. No, I'm out there managing property and shooting deer that it may be a trophy, or it may be a management buck, or it may be a doe that I want just for meat and to take off the land. In that case, it was a call buck, and call bucks are full of meat. So right off the bat- Wait, the video's over here if they wanna look. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, there. And then you can... This is our magic bullet. Take some... I actually turn it upside down like this. Okay, so we've got our panko breadcrumbs in a bag. And then I will take our pistachios Put them into the same bag. And then you just mix it up. And what you're left with is a nice mixture of panko breadcrumbs and pistachios. So I can throw that away, put this up. All right, you guys, so Sarah's been talking to a bunch of different people lately, and one of them is Seth McGinn, he owns Can Cooker. I've grown up eating food out of a pressure cooker. Sarah grew up eating food. Her mom loves to use slow cookers. So we looked at the Can Cooker, and she just called him out of blue, and he sent us a couple things. One of these is the plank foldable cutting board, which is pretty darn cool. Um, I think it, yeah, folds up just like that. There you go. Unfold it and lay it down here. It's very easy to keep clean, I supposedly. Backstrap 2012, 17, 14. That's the day we put in the freezer. That's the day we put in the freezer. Alright you guys, so the meat basically came out of the freezer. Here we are five months later, four and a half, five months later. It looks like it just went in. And we use the uh, Game Savers Titanium Edition. It's pretty big, but it does a darn good job. And I am going to start off, this is Everglades. This is cactus dust, but I just keep putting more of it into this bottle. Now we're just seasoning this meat up real quick. Rub it down nice. Now, I haven't even really started cooking yet because the first thing I want to do is I want to nut crust my meat. So you have this, roll these together, just get that season all impregnated into your meat nicely. All right, so on a video that we just did, we were talking about how to crust, crusting anything. You've got your meat seasoned, you've got all-purpose flour, you've got eggs, and you've got whatever you decide to crust it in. And in this case, it's panko breadcrumbs and pistachios. Throw your meat right in there. Ziploc bags work so good for this. 
done. I guarantee you I'm going to have a lot of this left over for lunch tomorrow. You're only going to crust one side, otherwise you're going to have too powerful of a crust and it won't be that good. So, it's going to come in just like that. That's going to be your glue, your bonding agent. Press it around, press it around. It's gonna come out crusted beautifully. Do the same thing again. Look at that, and just right in there. that to dry. This has taken no time. Here's our back straps crusted, letting it dry, letting it just become bonded. We've got our baby bellas and our, our uh, shallots all chopped up. We're going to use them because we're going to use some of this Murphy Good Cabernet, make a sauce. We've got our uh, squash here. Squash we're going to cook in the grill pan. I'll just doss it with some some olive oil like that. We're running low. Larry Limerick, yeah, let me know where you got this so I can get some more of it. Actually, well, probably got it at Sepe Groves. Season it up. It's in California. Yeah. Just let the season and the and the olive oil just roll all over. It's so good. That's good. We're gonna cook that in a grill pan. This cutting board, although it's foldable, it's really easy. You know, if, if, your, if your sink isn't giant, you know, if this was straight, I couldn't have done this. But the fact that it bends, you can fold it up, put it in smaller spots, and quite frankly, I think it's a great idea. We'll cut our deer meat on that. We're about ready to start. This is one of my ceramic pans. Uh, I love this thing. Although, if you guys have any suggestions, I want to get all new cookware. Uh, so if you have any suggestions of what I should go with, let me know. We finally made enough money to be able to buy all new cookware. Yep. <laughs> let that get going. We're going to put just a little bit of olive oil in there. I've got the oven preheating to 400 degrees. When I brown the meat, I'm going to pull it out, put it in the oven. And then I'm going to use the same pan that I cooked the meat in to make my sauce. Super easy, y'all. Super easy. We're making pistachio crusted. Backstrap. Backstrap. Look at that. I'm going to just let this cook very shortly. Literally, I'm only going to let those nuts cook for just a minute because they will burn so easily. Look at that. Oh, you're right. See, I mean, that was literally maybe 40 seconds. So what I'm going to do is, this is a pan that I have in the oven. It's got just a little bit of oil, but I don't want it to be totally dry. Throw them in the oven. I'm going to put those in the oven for about 10 minutes. 12 minutes. Okay. Now, a little bit of butter, throw that in there. Our shallots, throw the shallots in there. Throw the onion, the uh, baby bell mushrooms, throw them in there. Next, I'm gonna add some garlic. Good boy, Tebow. Sorry. About a teaspoon of garlic. Crack pepper. A 
original Everglades. This stuff is like a sauce made in heaven. This is all coming around, caramelizing nicely. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna take white wine, or red wine, or be good. So we've got Baby Bella's, uh, shallots, garlic, a little bit of butter, red wine. We're just gonna let this come on down, let this simmer. And we want it to reduce. Reduce means all the moisture is gonna come out, left with just leaving you just that flavor. That flavor is gonna go on top of our venison. All right, time to get some squash. coming down, reducing down, so much flavor, so much love, so much excitement, and we're going to eat. He's not so excited like Sam too. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we're looking for like that medium rare to medium temperature. Gotta have a very sharp knife. This is our eight inch silver stag fillet knife. And just let the knife cut. Look at that, perfect. Just let the knife do the work. You're not sawing, just back and forth. Can you show me? What and I will in one second. Okay, so now people are gonna ask about the like blood looking stuff there. Can you explain that to them? That's the flavor from the meat. Pieces of squash, just like that. You're getting so good at it. Put it in the plate together. And look at our sauce. Look at that. Look how much flavor there is in that. Just put some mushrooms. We'll get some of the sauce. so good. Oh my goodness. It's like good. It's probably my favorite venison dish. Yeah, and you don't have to do this for a big specialty dinner. You can do this anytime. This seemed really extravagant, but as you know, crusting stuff is really easy. And then you're just combining flavors. We 
we didn't have to buy a single thing in the store. She bought the wine, but that's and I just spit on my arm. But <laughs> this this was basically a leftover meal that we just put together with fresh deer meat out of the freezer. It's funny because the roles are kind of reversed because I harvested the deer and now he cooked it for me. <laughs> How do you feel about that, honey? I feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And please subscribe. Mm -hmm. If you have not already, please subscribe. And the wedding video should be up. Sometime this see. year will be up. Let's not. Mm -hmm. Alright y'all. Thanks for hanging out and being a part of this Tuesday number 15. Oh here. wait. Oh. And if you do want to order a shirt, check out our website. It's www.dearmeatfordinner.com. Subscribe now. Bang. Thank you.